Right now, there's only a few weapons in Modern Warfare 3 that stand between us and the priceless camo. So let's finish off these few weapons real quick and unlock it. I really think the priceless camo is one of the best looking camos of this entire game. I haven't seen it in game yet, so my opinion might change. But based off the way it looks in the menu, this camo looks absolutely insane. It's like polyatomic, but amped up to 10. So step one on our journey, we've got to get this weapon here gold. For this, all we have to do is get 10 kills with a laser sight because we've already done the four base challenges. It's actually that simple. 10 kills with a laser sight and this should be done. That is the gold challenge for this weapon. That's the gold challenge for all of the marksman rifles, actually. Oh, there we go. Gilded Unlock. That is now every weapon in Modern Warfare 3 with the Gilded Camo. All 36 of them have it. Now we've got to get the Forge Camo. The Forge Camo challenge for this is Tax Stance Kill. So now we got we to gotta do the whole little Tax Stance thing. And that's what we do to get the Cobblestone Camo. Nice little double through the window. Ooh. Dude, Tax Stance and Hardcore is busted. Oh. <laughs> yes. Ooh, if you're stuck on the tax stance kills, all you have to do is put three or four attachments that buff the tax stance and it makes it so easy. It is such an easy, look at that. Look at that range. There's no way, there's no way. There, yeah, that was a little too much. You know, this thing's got some range, but that ain't it. Oh, 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 oh one of those was a teammate. Oh, teammate, I'm sorry. Let's go, baby. Come on, come on, thread the needle, thread the needle. Oh, there it is, Forged Unlocked. Gold and Forged in the same game. Next up, we've got to get the Forged Camel on the MCW Marksman Rifle. For this, we've got to get three kills with one magazine 15 times. There's one, two, and rip. So we died there, but the thing about this challenge is you can actually die and it keeps progression. As long as you don't reload, it doesn't reset. So even though we got two kills died and then got our third one, since we didn't reload, that counts as one progression. Now we have to reload because it doesn't stack. So as soon as you get your third one, reload. Now we start over. But knowing this makes this challenge so much more simple. It doesn't all have to be in one life. It's just every three kills, then reload. And if you got a big magazine and you're playing hardcore, every three kills is going to count for progression for it. Oh, and this is our punishment for playing good last game. Last game was a great game, so this game is an absolute nightmare. Ah! We didn't rage quit. We're just tactically fighting a new game. But just to show that that worked, at no point during that game did I get three kills in a single life, but we managed to get two out of 15 progression. The only really hard part about this camo is fighting the urge not to reload after every kill. Because I take someone down, like right now I want to reload so bad, but you can't. You can't reload. Now we can, because that's three. There's another one. Oh God. Aha. Woo. Is that a clat? There's another one. Oh, is there spawn point? Oh no, no, don't reload Lego. Don't. Dude, I'm so glad we can reload cancel. This challenge would be so annoying if you couldn't reload cancel. And point. Sorry, teammate. Sorry, teammate. It was for the camo progression. Oh, oh, thread the needle. There we go. Reload again. Oh, and we're dead. One, two. Where's the third? Where's the third? I know there's more back here. Oh, not Johnny Sins. Stop. Okay, we got him. Take that, Johnny Sins. Oh, it was a penetration kill. We just got a penetration on Johnny, dude. Oh, I'm sorry, Johnny. No. Okay, well, that's revenge. Hi, Johnny. Forge unlocked. There we go. This is Forge now. Woo. Now we've got to get Forge for the KVD Enforcer. And for this, it's just 25 one-shot, one kill. So essentially 25 kills in hardcore. Because there's no way this isn't going to be a one-shot. Even through a wall. There we go. I'm so glad we now don't have to get three kills and count each time and then reload. Because I hate constantly having to keep track of how many kills I've gotten since I've reloaded. Now we just got to get killed. Woohoo! Was that a double penetration kill on Johnny? We just got double penetration head on Johnny Sins, bro. Bro, the cycle of getting one good game. Oh, was that a double? What? I didn't even see the last guy. That was just a random spam through the wall and we got him. <gasps> Hi, bud. Thank you. Long shot. Oh, forge camo unlocked. Another one in the books, baby. So remember at the beginning of this video when I said only three weapons stand between me and the priceless camo? Yeah, I lied. I completely forgot about this marksman rifle. Uh, this is the MTZ Interceptor, and we got to get forged on this as well, which is uh, three kills without dying 10 times. Dude, I can't wait till after we finish getting Interstellar because then 
Oh, then it's zombies. It's zombies. We got two mastery camos and zombies. That is crazy. Two separate mastery camos to grind right off the bat. Oh, I still haven't got a single Modern Warfare 2 weapon gold and zombies yet, but there's there's 114 camos to grind in zombies. 114 gold weapons. And it's just waiting for us. It's waiting for us to get interstellar. All right, there's another three kills without dying. That's a nice spawn point you have here. It'd be a real shame if someone enters it. Well, one more, one more, one more. There's still someone back here. I know it. Yeah! Sorry, Chad. Yeah, you climb up that ladder. No, no. Lego, it is just three kills without dying. How hard could it possibly be? Just shoot three enemies. Oh, forge unlocked. There we go. Oh! So at this point in time, we should have the forge camo on every single weapon in the entire game. Gilded unlocked, forge unlocked, priceless. Requirement number one, complete the forge camo challenge for this weapon. Challenge number two, complete 36 forge camo challenges. Now on every single weapon, we can do the camo challenge for priceless. Uh, for this one, it is get 15 headshots with iron sights, but I, I think I want to do an AR. The Bass Bees, only 25 suppressed clean kills. So for a suppressed clean kill, all we have to do is get a kill with a weapon that's suppressed without taking damage, which in hardcore is essentially just getting 25 kills with this weapon. There's one. Woo! Rust on hardcore is so broken. The, the amount of spawn killing that happens on this map when you're playing hardcore is just ridiculous. Like, look at that. It was that same guy. I got him twice. Oh, priceless unlock. Get 25 suppressed clean kills. First of many, baby. That camo looks so good on the pop-up. Okay, I'm impatient. We got to see it now. Let's back out. So here we go. Bass B customized camo all the way over. And there it is. Priceless camo, which just looks like a way better version of polyatomic. Uh, let's see how it works with attachments. So if we put an optic on. Does it show on the optic? Oh, dude, I like that. Okay, we're going to put that optic on. Not something I'd usually use, but it looks really good. Let's build a weapon that shows off the camo. Oh, I love that suppressor on it. And here we are, moment of truth. First time seeing the priceless camo in game. Okay, we need to get a little bit better lighting. Okay. Oh, this, you know, this isn't the best weapon to inspect. Wait, does it have like a, it looks like it almost has like a hue coming up. No, that's the laser sight on the top of it. I like this camo a lot. I, I wish we, okay, we got to unlock it on a better weapon to inspect because, you know, we, for the first weapon we picked, we kind of picked a weapon that has a pretty mid inspect and you can't see it that well. So let, let, let's unlock something with a little bit better inspect, but I love this. I know uh, Priceless is a pretty controversial camo and I've seen some mixed opinions about it, but uh, I like this really bright blue. It just, it to me, this looks like a crazy version of Polyatomic. So if I had to rank this camo, I'd probably give it an eight out of 10, nine out of 10. Now let's get it for an SMG for the striker nine. All we have to do is get 15 headshots while strafing. Give me that head, baby. There we go. All right, headshot while moving. Woo, headshot while moving. Call that roadhead. Another one. Woo. Oh! Oh, we finally got another easy lobby. It has been so long since we've had an easy lobby. We have been in such sweat fest. Yes, I love when the game throws you a bone. After you've just been in the sweatiest lobbies for hours and you get that one good lobby. Oh, we got to make the most out of it. These don't happen that often. Priceless unlocked on the Striker 9. That is... Ooh, that looked good. I love that pop-up. Okay, looks way better on the SMG. Now that we can properly inspect that, I, I love the purples and blue. They just mesh together so so well on this don't worry at the end of the video we'll take this on a bright map and we'll see what this camo looks like in a nice bright environment but uh, i don't think we should stop here i think we should get a few more of these bad boys see what it looks like on a bigger range of weapons now for the holger 26 all we have to do is get hit fire kills while moving and we just gotta do that 25 times and we'll have another one done oh so far these priceless camos have been so easy but knock on wood because i feel like some of these are going to be hard we just haven't found the hard ones yet we've been doing the easy ones. but i could get 25 hit fire kills while moving all day Got him. Priceless. Get 25 hit fire kills while moving. Easy GG. But before we see how it looks in game, let's also get it on this pistol as well. And for this, we just have to get headshots. I'm not quite sure how many, but who cares? It doesn't matter how many it is. Headshots are easy. Oh, Lego. Oh, my. I, uh, we almost fumbled the easiest headshot of my life. I don't know what this build is, but um, it's got a little bit of kick. I should have made a less recoil class because this is um, this is brutal. 21. Woo! Long shot headshot. 
Oh, come on. This recoil ain't got nothing on me, baby. Whew. Headshot. Dude, even with this crazy kick, we're still getting a decent amount of head. Wait a minute. We could just halfway get up. Wait, nah. And now we wait. Do, 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 do. Okay, I can't do this. I don't know how people camp. I get so bored so quickly. Like, I'm not out here to play a video game to sit in one spot the entire game. It's just, it's so boring. Ooh, triple headshot. And there's Priceless. What a way. Oh, quad. What a way to get it, baby. Yes, sir. This camo looks so good on a bright map. Here's what it looks like. This is my favorite map to test out camos on. Glad we got it on this LMG because look at that inspect. This is just a perfect way to view the camo. It almost looks like ice. That blue moving part kind of just reminds me of ice kind of swirling in the middle. Then you got the purple part. Uh, check it out on the Renetti pistol as well. Mm, also looking like an absolute snack here. So yeah, I really, really do enjoy this camo. However, we're not done yet. Priceless is not the final mastery camo in multiplayer. It goes gilded, forged, priceless. The next one on the chopping block is the interstellar camo. To get this, we have to get the priceless camo on every Modern Warfare 3 weapon, and that's not going to take long at all. In this video alone, we managed to get 5 out of 36, so 31 more weapons, then this camo is going to be ours. If you want to watch our grind for this, it probably in less than 24 hours, we're also going to have a video out for this interstellar camo, so if you want to see us unlock this, test it out, see what it looks like in-game, make sure to unlock the subscribe button, but after that, we're going to head into zombies, and we're going to get all of these as well, so if you want to stay up to date with our grind, see all of these camos, and get tips and tricks on it, let me me know how do you feel about the priceless camel i know there's some mixed opinions some people love it some people hate it but uh let me know yours thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys in the next one have a great day peace